What's going on everyone? It's Danae with Jacked and Rich Coaching. I wanted to hop on here and share my why, um, how I got into health and fitness. I wanted to give you a little bit of a background about where I came from and also where Jacked and Rich came from. I don't know if I ever hopped on here and actually shared the entire story. Um, so if we kind of I guess back up to almost 20 years ago, I was obviously young, probably in like uh, elementary school. Um, I always struggled with severe gut health issues. Um, I was always in and out of, you know, hospitals, um, doctor's offices, from one specialist to another specialist. Um, I remember being little and just always having to uh, wake my mom up you know, in the middle of the night, uh, telling her that I had, you know, really bad stomach pains. Um, I would be in like a fetal position suffering. Um, and we would go to the hospital, we would go to the doctor's offices. And every single time we would go to the hospital, we would always get sent home. Uh, we'd be in there for a few hours and they would just always tell my mom, oh, you know, she's young, she just has a lot of gas. So my mom's like, well, we're always here. She's always suffering. There has to be something wrong. And they would always just tell me, you know, she just has gas. So we would obviously go home. I would be fine until the next episode. So for years, I was always going to, um, you know, specialists to figure out why I was suffering. Um, I was always taking a ton of different tests. Um, and you know, getting checked to just figure out, you know, why was I always in so much pain? Um, it was just so uncomfortable, especially being young. Like it felt like I remember like people were like stabbing, stabbing me in my stomach. So I always struggled with, uh, stomach and digestive issues. And I practically lived also in the allergist office because I had really bad asthma um, and I also had year-round allergies that were also really bad. So as I got older, uh, me and my mom eventually just stopped getting checked for uh, any sort of stomach issues because we were always in and out of doctors. We never got any sort of answers despite all the tests we had done. Um, so I really just lived my life for many, many years thinking I just had to deal with it. Um, you know, always being bloated, having stomach pains. Um, it was just like a normal thing for me. I thought maybe it just ran in my family um, just to always have stomach issues. And, you know, sitting and sleeping in fetal positions was kind of like the norm. I would curl, curl up in a little pretzel, um, wait for my stomach to feel better, and then kind of move on uh, with my day. So <laughs> what I found, you know, more hysterical is, you know, I grew up thinking that you know, when you have a stomach ache, you have to cure your stomach ache with ginger ale and saltine crackers. Like that's what's gonna help your stomach feel better. That's like the environment I grew up in, I guess the Italian way, saltine crackers and ginger ale. And it's like looking back at that now, my brain explodes. Cause I'm like, wow, no wonder why I never got better because I was curing my stomach ache with ginger ale and saltine crackers. Insane. How do you get rid of gut health issues with soda and crackers? Just doesn't work. <laughs> so it really seemed ass backwards, uh, but that's what really was what was going on. So after years and years um, of being in specialist office and my allergist office, um, I was in my allergist my allergist's office at least once a week. Um, not once did they ever mention my diet. Did they ever even? ask me about my nutrition or suggest that I should change my nutrition or ask me what I even ate as to why I was suffering so much. So my diet was never a topic of conversation whatsoever. So being someone who's, you know, young and uneducated because I obviously didn't go uh, to med school, um, I never even thought of, you know, fixing anything through nutrition. So I really just ate whatever I wanted to without thinking that I had any sort of consequences on my body, how I felt, uh, my stomach aches, my allergies, all the whole shebang. Um, so looking at it now, it kind of makes my head explode. 
Um, but it's really proof to just show you that you really don't know what you don't know. And I legit knew nothing. And because I was, you know, struggling with this since I was like probably eight years old. Um, and apparently my doctors didn't know anything either. So throughout college, um, you know, I, I dealt with this through middle school, high school. And then throughout college, I think that's when I took the turn for the worse. Um, I developed even more bad habits, of course, because I'm in college. So say goodbye to any home cooked meals and say hello to eating out and constantly eating fast food. Um, and just really my, my eating habits were horrible. I was drinking gallons and gallons of caffeine, diet Cokes and coffee and you know, obviously in college, that was the first time that I was living on my own. So there weren't really any sort of rules. I kind of did whatever I wanted to do. Um, I was also going to school full time. I had about four to five jobs at a time. So I nannied for a family of five kids. I bartended at multiple places. I also created my own uh, food delivery service at the time. This was before Uber Eats was Uber Eats, so I was delivering food for places that never delivered. I was essentially Uber Eats before Uber Eats knew they were gonna be Uber Eats. <laughs> so if I continued to do that, I'd probably be on an island somewhere. But uh, needless to say, I was working, you know, crazy, crazy hours. Um, and I took really bad care of just my body uh, for a good probably, five to six years of my life, I was just focused on kind of surviving, um, going to school, getting a career, doing all this stuff. Um, and then I was working nonstop, like 80 plus hours a week. Um, and my health was probably the last thing that I worried about. Um, so with no surprise, a lot of those years really caught up to me really fast. Um, you know, my skin, started breaking out with like horrific painful cystic acne like it started out small and then just got worse and worse and worse and legit would not go away um, no matter what i did i started you know trying to fix it and my my face was like in pain um and then i started slowly developing like really bad anxiety bad depression there were also a lot of events uh, that happened in my life that kind of triggered some of the anxiety and the depression, but um, that as well as being extremely healthy, unhealthy from, you know, the prior years, I was already sick in the past, obviously with gut health issues since I was little, didn't even know it. And then from then on, I continuously just kept destroying my body without even knowing it. Um, Sleep was probably something that was non-existent in my life. And I say that really seriously. Um, I would have severe night terrors. I started kind of seeing my entire life going down the slippery slope of doom. I just felt like this big, heavy cloud um, all over me, to be honest. Um, I, I was always bubbly, but I started not to feel like myself anymore. I was starting to feel like, oh my God, this is my life. Like I did not expect to be here. Um, it felt like dark, it felt very hard. <laughs> um, so I saw at that point even more doctors uh, for one last time because I just felt like I was spiraling. Um, and all of their solutions were, you know, go on antidepressants. Uh, there was no solutions at all, which kind of forced me to start finding solutions on my own. Um, because I hated taking anything. I didn't want to take anything at all. So I started researching my own things. Uh, they weren't really part of the norm for most people. Uh, but I started looking into ways to just feel better through food, nutrition, exercise. Like I was doing so much research saying who's experienced this before. And I slowly started making, you know, changes and started looking for answers. Social media wasn't what it was now to find them as fast. Um, but after a long time, um, I found two holistic doctors that really started changing, you know, what I looked like, um, with my health. I just started a new career. I was excelling at it like no other. My lifestyle was extremely hectic. Um, and I knew in order to do better, I had to start feeling better. And, you know, I finally found from, found out from my holistic doctors that I had, 
um, a severe case of candida and leaky gut syndrome. syndrome. And that essentially was wreaking havoc on my entire body. Um, it was good to finally get answers. Uh, my thyroid was out of whack. My hormones were out of whack. I needed like an entire transformation. I felt relieved at the time because I was like, okay, there's something that I could like strive towards to get better. So I will say once I got answers, my healing journey definitely didn't happen overnight. At first, I found it extremely hard to balance my work and my personal life and all while to trying to tackle all these new health goals and changes. They were so extreme. Um, everything I was trying was just so time consuming, um, extremely overwhelming that it just piled on top of, you know, my stress and it kind of made everything worse for a little bit. So I was really struggling to find any sort of energy to do my job the way I used to. I was, you know, still struggling with like the daily nerves of anxiety. I was losing my confidence because my skin was just getting uh, worse and worse. Um, and I got to a point where I was just so uncomfortable with my own skin. I just wanted to find a solution and get it over with. I wanted like that quick fix uh, because I was just in a place where I was like, I can't be here anymore. So needless to say, I tried everything to get better. Fad diet after fad diet, I would see results, I would feel great, I would fall back off track and become more and more uh, frustrated because I was like, oh great, all of this hard work is just going right out the window uh, because you would do good for so long and then you'd fall off track because what I was trying was just so unrealistic and so not sustainable. So I felt at that point, in order for me to just get my health back, it was like getting a second job. I'm like, I don't have time for this. Um, so it really made it impossible to sustain. Um, I was always eating what I thought was healthy and always exercising, uh, but I still seemed to always just stay stuck and make really no progress, like a little bit just to move backwards. So that was kind of demotivating me at a certain point because I'm like, wow, I'm trying all these things and I just can't stay there. So I finally got to a point where I was sick and tired of dealing with living in a life of what I thought was my normal life. And I was like, wow, like I'm gonna be doing this forever and this isn't fun. I need to find a different solution. Um, it was just back and forth, back and forth. So I started to um, study nutrition. I started studying exercise rather than listening to every diet on the internet. And that's really where a lot of clarification came in. Real transformation started to happen. Um, and I really started to learn the principles moving forward. And I realized the same principles that we need to be successful in life because at the moment I was really succeeding with my career, it was really the same principles that you need to be successful with your health and fitness goals. So that is where the term jacked and rich came from. And I then started to realize that I didn't have to sacrifice one to get the other. So I really learned over the years that without my health, you know, because I was struggling so much, I really didn't have anything. Um, with my health, I know that I literally could do anything I wanted. I was just doing everything in my life so much better. So, you know, I realized a lot of people think that you can't be successful in your career without, you know, losing your health. And I realized that you can be successful in your career while also being healthy all while living your life with more freedom, not being chained up into that diet mindset. You know, in life, we want to focus on doing things that we enjoy. We need to stay consistent in order to reach any sort of result, but it has to be something that we enjoy doing. And we really have to make sure that we're putting our effort into it to create any sort of change. So whether we're talking about our life or whether we're talking about losing weight or achieving any sort of you know, fitness related goal, you need to work hard. Um, you, know, you need to stay disciplined, but, big but, you need to enjoy the journey um, and you need to enjoy it while you're doing it. So I really started seeing real transformation in my health when I started treating it like my business. Um, and I just started 
applying the same principles to getting healthy. So I stopped all of the, the fad and trendy diets and I learned really the principles behind what really drives results. Um, I learned that starving myself of foods that I loved, um, depriving myself of all of the foods I enjoyed didn't work because I would do it for a week and then give up and do it for a few months and then give up. And I learned that working out six to seven days a week, running like a maniac and doing tons and tons of cardio also didn't work. So the whole notion of eating less and working out more nonstop was really keeping me from achieving my goals. It was actually keeping me stuck. It kept me in that yo-yo diet, uh, that yo-yo diet cycle of death, you could call it. Um, it was definitely not um, prompting any healthy gut environment. It wasn't really good for my hormones. Um, it just kept me in circles and kept me staying stuck. So I took a completely different approach. Um, I really turned my journey into a lifestyle because I was able to enjoy the foods I loved. I was able to do exercises that I enjoyed doing uh, without going to the gym for hours and hours. Like two hours at the gym was not sustainable. Um, and then I knew once I was able to do those things, I was able to get healthy, but I was able to stay healthy um, because I could do it for the rest of my life. That was really the game changer, getting to my goal, but staying to my goal. So my journey was about really just achieving a fit and healthy lifestyle that not only helped me love what I looked like, but in the scheme of things, it really helped me get to that healthy place um, from the inside out. I was feeling good. I was looking good. Um, I wake up now kind of ready for the day. I feel confident in everything that I do. It really just pours into everything that I do in my life. It pours into my job. Um, I always have my energy back, the Danae energy that just doesn't go away. Um, I don't have to worry about the 3 p.m. slump where I need caffeine to wake me up or I need to take a nap in the car. Um, and most importantly, I just feel good doing what I do on a daily basis. It's consistent. Um, so I don't experience any more of like the aches and pains of like the roller coaster ride of emotions because one day I'm feeling good, one day I'm not. So I learned how to do all of this while living a busy lifestyle, being a busy business owner, because I realized that I don't have to flip my entire life upside down just to reach a specific goal and a specific way of being healthy. So feeling healthy and being healthy and loving what you look like um, and just loving the way you feel every single day is priceless at the end of the day. Um, and for a while I thought it was like so far out there. I never thought I would achieve it. And when you're able to do those things, that's what allows you to live a jacked and rich lifestyle because all the areas of your life is infiltrated with success and true happiness. And it really just flows into your personal life, your business life, uh, your relationships, just everything as a whole. So it's just the... It's the lifestyle of just making sure you are always feeling your best, but that you're feeding your mind, your body, your soul, because that's what you need, um, or at least that's what I needed to thrive, to feel like myself again, because there was a time period where, you know, I knew how I was supposed to feel, and that got skewed from just constant, you know, treating myself poorly and then I got to a point where I'm like wow you can live consistently you know eating the foods you love doing the exercises that you enjoy while being healthy loving what you look like and loving how you feel day to day and that's the jacked and rich way that is how I came up with the jacked and rich lifestyle and that's what I preach and that's what I do every single day of my life because I could wake up feeling like woo. Let me go attack this day rather than figuring out, oh, you know, how am I going to get this day forward? So health to me was transformational, not just from a health perspective of what I look like, but from the inside out. Um, I became a different person. I became a better person uh, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually it all kind of came together. Um, and that's really what changed my life and I'm so excited to be where I'm at now, but I will say 
the jacked and rich lifestyle it's always a progression you're always fighting to be better and better every single day it doesn't have to be something that flips your life upside down but just small things that you want to improve on you can do by small habits daily um, so I hope you enjoyed that story I never really actually shared the entire thing from beginning to end but I felt like it was necessary just so that you could learn a lot about me where I came from and where I'm at right now